So I generally come in, um, I'll check in with my team leaders um, and see how they're going uh, with each of their teams. So they're split into three zones um, within the city gym lab. Um, generally, I guess what comes through my desk is a lot of, we get a lot of dog attacks, we get a lot of dog investigations that I have to review. Um, and then any actions or tasks that are raised for our field officers um, in regards to local laws, um, ensuring that the community are, are complying with the laws is kind of, I guess, investigating uh, any of those tasks that come through and making sure that we're following through appropriately. So, yeah, supporting my team leaders with their teams and making sure that all our people are supporting what we're doing out in the community. Well, it's really good. It's important that we have an organisation that reflects the community that we serve and uh, Janelle's a great example of that. She's dedicated, uh, hard working, very focused. Those are all the kinds of qualities that I certainly look for uh, in someone. Uh, she's someone who makes a difference and works really well as part of a team and that's what we're about here at Gender Love. Every single day, got so many different things going on which keeps the job really interesting which I really enjoy. Well, I think that's been especially important in the last couple of years through COVID, where schedules have changed, often at short notice. So, look, um, being able to offer flexible hours wherever possible, being understanding of, of uh, when Janelle needs to be uh, at training or uh, game days and so on. So, look, it's something we try and do for all our people, and that is respond to their lives outside of work, as well as our expectations of them in the office. Yeah, so the City of June Life have been um, absolutely amazing in supporting me in my AFLW journey. So um, they've been really flexible in the sense that they let me uh, start a little bit earlier and then finish earlier so I can get out um, onto the training track and, and complete my training. And then obviously with travel and travelling interstate can be quite challenging at times. So just having that flexibility to, to sometimes work remotely if I need to, um, or, or you know, take a bit of annual leave if I need to here and there. And, supporting my, my mental health and well-being as well has been really good. Yeah, just really grateful that I guess I have the opportunity to to be, um, you know, to still maintain my profession and also be an AFLW player I think is really special and it, it gives me something to fall back on as well and, you know, for me there's, there's also a life outside of football which is really important for me in finding that balance so, yeah, really appreciative that the City of June Life allow me to do that and work within the club because I think the two roles really complement each other nicely. Go Dockers! <laughs>